Hi and welcome to the second part of my how to make Max easier videos. Um, be sure to check from the first part if you want an introduction to this series. Okay, so this one's going to be covering uh, what have I done? Um, simple um, kind of noobish mistakes that people tend to make. Okay, so um, first of all I'll go with the most common one because it's the biggest damn button in there. Um, if you can't um, select a certain object, um, so this is I guess the, the symptom, I've got this object selected, okay, and I try to click here, and I'm clicking here, and I, I can't move it. All I'm doing is moving it, um, and I can't select it. You'll notice that the selection lock toggle is highlighted in yellow. I activated that by invert quotes accident by pressing the spacebar. I can press spacebar again to remove it, and again I can click whatever I want. Uh, another way that prevents you from um, choosing anything you want is if you've accidentally changed this away from all and onto something like lights uh, that will prevent you being able to select anything except for lights or any of the other things here and um, because these are geometry um, it means I can't pick them so make sure that's on all um, so those are the two most common uh, reasons you can't pick anything uh, another key that's kind of annoyingly easy to press is the X key which removes your widget so if you've got something looking like this and you want to um, move um, your objects and well that's fine but you want to see the widget you know it'll still work but yeah it's much easier seeing that it's the X key that uh, hides and shows the widget that's called the widget um, if that isn't fixing it then it's possible you've disabled it some other way so go into um, customize no not customize user interface uh, preferences I think um, gizmos and make sure that all of the gizmos are on and check any of the settings in here um, for anything that looks a bit funny. Okay, another easy easy mistake to make. Let's say you're working the perspective view as I am. I can hold down Alt and middle click and I can move around and stuff nicely. Um, but I'm wanting to uh, duplicate an object. Um, very easy mistake to make is to try and copy it by pressing Ctrl and C. Doing that will generate a camera and you'll notice now I'm hardly able to move the screen using um, Alt and middle click because that doesn't uh, now rotate around my object. Pan still kind of works. Um, but if I, I manage to get out of that by going into perspective, hitting P, I'll still have um, the camera there, which is this little thing here. So uh, Control and C, you don't need to use it if you want to duplicate an object. Um, you just need to press Control V, and that will bring up the clone. Uh, okay, um, let's say you're one, you're used to selecting with a, a rectangle selection, as most people probably will be, um, but you've been using your shortcuts like you should have been, very good, well done, uh, but you've pressed Q a couple too many times and suddenly, oh, you're selecting a circle, or any one of these things here. Um, these are the different selection options you can use, uh, which is square, circle, um, I don't know what they call that one, um, but kind of like a straight line lasso and freeform lasso and then a sp sort of spray select thing. Um, you cycle through those by pressing um, Q lots of times and it's easy to come off of the rectangle one so press Q a few more times or just drag that down to the, to the box and you, you're laughing. Same mistake can happen um, when using scale. Um, the one you'll usually use is this top one which is um, select and uniform scale. If you press R too many times you'll get uh, select and non-uniform scale, usually not a problem. The one that usually causes problems is select and squash where you try and stretch it and it uh, kind of squashes it, which you, you might not be expecting. Um, so again, same fix. Uh, okay, what else have we got? Uh, let's say you're working in, um, an on, on an editable poly and your widget is not looking like what it's supposed to look like. This is what you're used to seeing it as. Um, you move the camera and it stays where it is. Um, you pick a different one and it's still pointing the same direction, but what's happening for you, let's say is um, it's pointing away from the surface of the model uh, and wherever you click it's pointing in a different direction. Now this is really useful to use under circum certain circumstances but you may have got there without meaning to. Um, that's because you've got local selected. Another one that might be looking a bit weird is um, screen. Again very useful in its own right but um, now whenever I move the screen it'll uh, point to face me which you might see as a problem um, and that might be um, something you didn't mean to do. So just jump back into view, view is the normal one um, and that should sort you out. Okay, uh, another thing that can happen is uh, let's say you're using your, your shortcuts and you suddenly they kind of stop working. Um, it could be that you've got a keyboard shortcut override toggle on which 
does some kind of weird things and, and I think leaves some keyboard shortcuts exposed and changes some, but I would avoid it. Um, if it's uh, toggled on like that, turn it off. Same goes for select and manipulate. If you don't know what it does, just turn it off. Um, and window slash crossing. If it's selected and you didn't mean to do that, turn it off because that'll that'll change the way you select things. Um, this is what your your sort of uh, up to this point anyway. What your buttons should look like. Only one of these really should be selected unless you kind of have a reason not to do it, like the snaps or something like that. Some something you meant to turn on. Um, again, look at the bottom of your screen as well. Um, sometimes things will turn themselves on. Well, you've probably pushed a button or pressed a key to turn it on, but um, the user interface generally tries to tell you, you know, if it's in some sort of mode that's screwing things up. Um, another one that can happen uh, by accident, similar to the to creating a camera, if you've pressed Control and X, you'll have lost a lot of your user interface, which you might not want. Um, there is this Cancel Expert Mode button down there, um, so you can press that. Um, so you've probably figured that one out, but that's Control and X if you're wondering how you got to that by accident. Um, the final one that sometimes catches people out is um, various circumstances involving you um, scaling an object usually uh, is, the, is the killer. Um, but in, let's say you're happy with this shape, but uh, you go on to do something else with it namely um, unwrapping it and try to use unwrap things on it. Um, certain um, transformations, particularly scaling, can have the effect of making a bad what's called X form. So I'll give you a visual example. Um, if I rotate this now, you'll see the, um, the bounding box for it has rotated with it. But let's say I actually didn't want that, I wanted an object that um, is this way up. Um, and I, I don't want it to be thought of as being at 37 degrees. That's, however I've modelled it, that is exactly what I would consider to be straight up. Um, the way to fix that, um, go into Utilities, um, Reset X Form should be there. If it isn't, go on More, it should be listed under one of these, Reset X Form. But I've already got mine up, so, so that's fine. And then you'll need to click Reset Selected, and that'll put it back to how it should be. A lot of slightly weird behaviour in unwrapping, things like relaxing, will um, be fixed if, if that had been broken because you've done these things. Um, and if you uh, do various things with the pivot that's been making odd behaviour, try resetting your X-Form. Um, I won't go into why X-Form can go wrong. If, you, if you're interested, look that up. Um, just, just be aware that sometimes resetting an X-Form is a good idea. Um, okay, so that concludes the really simple what have I done tutorial, I guess, tutorial. Um, the next uh, set is, is really getting onto the actual tips that I really wanted to be the meat of this series. Um, starting off with making selections efficiently. Um, so I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for watching.